this lecture we are going to discuss in detail about the characteristics of different climatic zones of EAC. Let us start with the first zone. The first zone is hot humid. This covers coastal areas, islands and a strip of land from 20 to 100 kilometers wide along the sea. Most of the zone is less than 300 meter above sea level. Representative location is Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Never excessively hot, but permanent high humidity, generally high temperatures, small daily temperature swing, moderate wind breezes and high value of solar radiation, except in cloudy days. Along and near the coast, depending on the terrain, the prevailing northeast and southeast monsoon winds are modified by sea land breezes during the day and to a much lesser extent by land sea breezes at night. For each climatic zone, the main parameters to develop the design studies are air temperatures, relative humidity, solar radiation and wind velocity. As an example, we can see this for Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. For the hottest months, the mean maximum air temperature is about 31 degrees Celsius. The mean minimum is 25 degree and the mean swing is about 3 to 7 degree. As regards to mean relative humidity along the coastal area is about 80 percent. Finally, the global solar radiation over horizontal surface is 5 to 5.4 kilowatt hour per meter square per day and progressively lower to 4.5 kilowatt hour per square meter moving away from the coastal line. In this zone, combination of high temperature and high humidity causes discomfort. It can be seen from the figures, ventilation that facilitates convective and evaporative cooling of the body is essential for comfort both in day and night. High thermal mass is not helpful. Nights, which are often still and solitary, bring little or no relief to the heat of the day. Even lightweight, correctly designed houses will emit heat, very often causing indoor temperatures higher than outdoors. Therefore, minimizing of discomfort at night is of utmost importance. The second zone is hot arid. Representative location is Lodwa in Kenya. This zone includes the parts far from the sea with altitude ranging from 0 to 500 meters. Maximum temperatures are high, higher than those of the hot humid climate and high is the daily temperature variation. Humidity, especially in the hottest hours, is very low. Breezes are generally light with no strong predominant direction. The wet and dry seasons correspond to the wet and dry season on the coast at the same latitude, and both these seasons are much drier. Days are invariably very hot, but low humidity in the hottest hours attenuates the level of discomfort and a wider daily temperature swing means that nights are relatively comfortable. So the use of high thermal mass and evaporative cooling helps as shown in the figures. In addition, winds are generally weak and persistent. At times, strong winds are experienced locally. Fast breezes from mid to late evenings are common in some places. The third zone is hot semi-arid savanna. Representative location is Tabora in Tanzania. This zone covers the widest area of EAC, it includes some part of the Kenya and a large part of Tanzania and Uganda, with altitude ranging from 500 meters to 1500 meters. The difference from the hot arid region is relatively higher humidity values 
and lower peak temperatures and daily temperature swings. The comfort conditions are similar to the hot arid climatic zone. The discomfort caused by the high daytime temperatures prevailing during most of the year can be critical. Though steady breezes do often elevate the heat of the afternoon. Comfort conditions at night vary considerably over the year. Many times it is likely to be uncomfortably warm inside massive walls and poorly ventilated houses. From June to August and during rainy season it can however be distinctly cool at night. So the use of high thermal mass and evaporative cooling helps during the hot months as shown in the figures. The fourth zone is Great Lakes. It includes a strip 0 to 25 kilometers wide along the shores of Lakes Victoria, Nyasa, Rukwa and Tangniaika. The zone ranges in average from lake level to about 150 meters above lake. Representative location is Kampala in Uganda. The temperature is slightly lower than the savanna zones, but daily variations are comparable. Humidity is higher than in savanna zone, even if in the same altitude range due to the lakes. This zone has a remarkably stable climate, very slight seasonal and daily difference of temperature and humidity. Day temperatures are rather similar to the hot humid coastal zone, but nights may be uncomfortably cold for some periods of the year. Moreover, due to the high altitude of Lake Victoria, early mornings may be uncomfortably cold during cold season and the rains. Therefore, complete sun exclusion is not desirable in this area, whereas in the other parts of the zone, sun exclusion is required. Shaded outdoor spaces facing the lake in order to catch the cooling afternoon breezes are highly appreciated. During relatively cold and rainy mornings, the heat from afar is most desirable. The fifth zone is upland. This zone covers the areas at altitudes between about 1500 and 2000 meters. Representative locations is Nairobi in Kenya. They are generally cool areas where some heating is welcome in the coolest day of the year. Fairly high humidity, similar to that of hot humid zone. Moderate breezes with no predominant directions. Upland zone has a pleasant climate because of the high altitude. The conditions in this zone are similar to spring or autumn in a temperate climate. Temperatures are moderate and during daytime rarely exceed the upper limits of the comfort zones. During nighttime, the temperature is likely to drop below the lower limit of the comfort zone. The low night temperatures represent a major source of discomfort. The last one is the sixth zone is high upland. Representative location for this climate is Eldoret in Kenya. This zone refers to the altitude above 2000 meter. Generally cold areas where heating is necessary for most part of the year. The humidity is fairly high. Due to the altitude, daytime temperatures are never high, but nights are very cold. During most nights, temperatures are well below the comfort zone and a rapid temperature drop takes place at sunset. The zone contains a large number of exposed localities with brisk winds and good air movement, which in cold weather may be uncomfortable. However, high wind velocities are uncommon. The frequent cold and rainy weather makes people stay indoors close to the fire. In conclusion, in order to design properly sustainable building in EAC, designer must take into account the characteristics of analyzed climatic zones. Mm -hmm.